Today on Robert Knows. How does a satellite transmission work? What path does a picture take until it appears on the television at home? All this today on Robert Knows. What a great game! Too bad we didn't get tickets for the stadium. Yes, but it's almost as exciting on TV. It's live after all. So we are watching at exactly the same time. At the same time? How is that even possible? Robert, how exactly does a transmission like that actually work? That's a good question, Bennett. I'm sure one of my friends at ASA, the European Space Agency, can explain it to us. Huh? Does the ESA do television now? I thought they were astronauts, not sports journalists. ESA is not only astronauts, Lisa. They are also responsible for satellites that perform very important functions in our orbit and improve life on Earth. <laughs> what does a satellite have to do with television? Let's ask my friend Elodie Vio to explain. She's in charge of satellite communications and applications at ASA. Hello, Elodie. Thank you for connecting with us. This is Lisa and Bennett. You're welcome, Robert. What you would like to know? We just watched the European Championship match on TV and wanted to know how a satellite transmission works. That's a great question, Lisa. We are actually using satellite to connect right now. Let's imagine a football player has just scored a goal. Just like Playmo Dowski did now? Exactly! This goal is recorded by a camera on the edge of the pitch. Then the camera sends the picture to an outside broadcast van. And then it sends it to our TV. Almost. The van cannot reach your television directly at home. So a satellite is used to send the picture and the sound into space to be precise into the Earth's orbit. There are many and so many satellites there, including the European Space Agency ones and others, like those that are used to put the football game onto your TV. But that's the completely wrong direction. What's the picture doing up there? That's right. The satellite has to catch the signal and send it back to Earth. He catches it like a goalkeeper? <laughs> the satellite is not quite a goalkeeper, of course. You can imagine it's a big mirror hanging in space, reflecting light coming from Earth back to it. That's exactly how all the satellites work. But nowadays, the satellites do not just reflect the signal, but generate it again. And where do satellites get electricity from? That's a very good question. It comes from solar cells that provide enough energy to the power of the satellite. Wow! But how does the transmission reach such a small satellite from Earth? They must be going so fast! Correct, Bennett. But the satellite doesn't just whiz through our orbit. It is precisely aligned so that it always remains above a certain position on Earth. Then it floats with the rotation of the Earth? Exactly. For this to work, the satellite must always remain at a certain distance from the Earth's surface. At the equator, for example, the distance is always 36,000 kilometers. Wow, that's a long way for the transmission to travel. You will be amazed to learn that it's taking only five seconds for the signal to travel the entire distance from the football field into space and finally to your television. Wow, that's fast. It's great to find out all the cool things that the A's are doing. I was already totally blown away by the astronauts and the ISS. Thank you very much, Elodie. That was really very interesting. And my best regards to your colleagues at the ASA. Thanks, Robert. I will pass that message on. It would be very nice if we could see each other in person again. Until then, let's connect via satellites. See you soon. That would be nice. See you soon. Yes, Elodie. Thanks again, Elodie. Thank you so much for your time. 
Well, where are you? The game is about to continue. Don't worry, Dad. Until the signal has been in space and is back with us, we'll have five seconds.